I'm Nathan Judah. I'm here with Mr. Liam Keane uh, at Molyneux, although you, you might not be able to tell at this moment in time, the fog has definitely descended post-match. Wolves nil, Chelsea nil. What do you make of it, Liam? Is it, is it a decent point? I think we probably would have taken that at the start of the game. It's one of those old cliches, a game of two halves. Mm. <laughs> it's one of those ones. Um, I thought you were going to say point, point gained or two points lost. But... No, I think, um, I think you have to take that, that point. You know, despite the COVID situation, despite having you know, a lot of players out, that chance to start on level is still very strong. Yeah. Um, and, and Wolves, I thought, you know, had the better of the first half. Second half, sat back far too mm. much, invited too much pressure. But again, you know, a fifth clean sheet in seven games, their defence and Saar included in that with one massive save on Pudisic in the second yeah. half. Um, prove why they're such a, a good defensive outlet and I think they, they were good value for, for a point in the end um, when you you know look at the balance and the context of both halves and uh, I think you have to take it as a good as a good point you know Chelsea were up there for a reason they're a very good side yeah. with, with a great manager um, look Bruno went with three in midfield and, and, and Pedence and and Raul up top, Raul wasn't at his best today, was he? And uh, of course the two kind of had uh, big parts to play in the goal that, that wasn't. Uh, when when Pedenta took it in the back of the net, can you understand why the goal was ruled offside? Yeah, it was, or, it was, or, or disallowed? Yeah, it was the, it was the correct decision. Um, Jimenez for me, he, he's, he's a yard off, isn't he, first of all. Um, he's got to stay in line there because uh, Wolves have done so well to, to fashion the, the opportunity in the first place. Hover winning the ball, playing Moutinho, who did a really nice run through the middle, which Wolves midfielders don't tend to do mm. too often. They need to do more of. Plays into uh, Marcel, who whips in first time. Great ball. A great, a great ball. And um, with, 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 you know, the, the angle he's coming at, and, and he can maybe he didn't expect it first time, I don't know, but I think Raul's got to stay on side there, mm. first of all. And then once he sticks his foot out, forces um, Mendy to react to it, he's interfered with play and, and it's, it can't be a goal, unfortunately. If it was the other way around, Wolves fans would be furious. So, um, disappointed in that, in, that, in that sense for that goal, um, or disallowed goal. But, you know, Wolves, they, Raul was quiet, but I thought they had the better of that first half, as I say. Uh, they, they were winning the ball back aggressively, they looked after it well when they did have possession. Pedence had a, a better first half than second half, but overall second half, Wolves just, didn't get going in our final third, they were too deep, invited too much pressure, had no outlet and ultimately didn't cause any problems. Yeah, a couple of things, you mentioned Hover there, a bit of a surprise to see him in the, in the side um, ahead, of, ahead of Nelson Semedo. Yeah, oh, I do think, okay? think he did okay? Yeah, I think so, I, I think he did do okay. Yeah, there was a couple of times he got caught out, um, but again, in the other direction, a couple of times where he did really well going forward, that one opportunity he created to go past Alonso in that second half. So, um, but look, after yeah. that Liverpool game and the mistake, and you know, he was obviously very down yeah, from the legs, yeah. it's good to get that confidence back up again. You know, he's played a, you know, a top three side in Chelsea and, yeah. and, and done fine. And he has to play games eventually, doesn't he? So, particularly after a mistake like that, um, which he was obviously, he was obviously you know, very upset about. So, to come back and I think put a fairly solid display in. Um, yeah, not spectacular. Not, but... Nothing spectacular, but, but certainly not poor. No, um, um, so, that, that was what's needed when a player comes in you know, cold, really, to, to replace a player like Semedo. You talk about the Pulisic chance, which was, was, was Chelsea's best chance, I think, of the day. Yeah. Um, look. Leonard and Donker, right at the end of the first half, had a great chance himself. Yeah. And, and probably when you look back at it, when they look back at it tonight and match the day, it probably was a better chance than maybe it appeared at the time. Yeah, I think if you watch that in real time, I don't think fans quite realise how big an opportunity that actually is. Um, he's 10 yards out into free header. Mm -hmm. If he gets around it, uh, maybe times the run slightly better, or even if the ball is less lofted to the cross, um, he gets a, a, you know, a square forehead on that, he probably hits the back mm -hmm. of the net. And if he puts it either side of Mendy, he hits the back of the net. Um, but, you, you know, we'll claw the positives out of it, that a Wolves midfielder was getting into the box, yeah. getting into the final third, getting on the end of something, um, and they need to do that more often. Um, like you said, Chelsea were always going to come, come, come hard at, at Wolves' second half, and they did do that. I mean, time and time again, we, we screamed for substitutions. It was left late again yeah. today. Do you feel that, that I mean, this is, this is a habit from Bruno, isn't it? And, and probably something that he, he, he's very aware of. Um, do you think that do you think they should have brought Traoré in or, or made it, maybe made a change earlier on? I think it needs to be quicker. Certainly, we've said that a few times this season. Um, but with this particular game, I, I felt a little bit for Bruno because I, I tweeted at the time that it was almost a stick or twist situation where you know they change the formation and go three four three. They risk losing the battle, battles in midfield. He doesn't change it. It's, it's a less easy to it was not as easy to make the changes with with the two to play Troy or, or bring Trincao on like he did at the end there. Um, but then he keeps the base of three midfield. So I can see why he left it late, and I think it was the right decision not to change the formation because he ultimately you've got a point against you know the Champions League holders. Yeah, a point against Chelsea. You know you've won in Brighton in, in midweek, which I think was a big win looking back at this. And then you've got Watford on Boxing Day. Hopefully we'll soon see. I don't know. There's meetings on Monday, but um, if you can beat Watford on Boxing Day, then you've got in in the middle of this really difficult run of games. If you can get seven points from those three games. 
I'm not saying the free hits, but you can go to Arsenal, you go to Manchester United full of confidence and really take it to them. I think so. You, you look at it as a, an isolated little mini run in, in this longer, difficult run mm -hmm. they've got. And if they can get, as you say, seven points, beat Watford, you've got a pretty good opportunity. We were speaking about this earlier today. You don't know what kind of Arsenal team is going to show up. United probably quite similar, albeit a little bit stronger. Um, there's still opportunities to, to get points from those games. If you go into it with a, a win at Watford, if it's on, um, it's a, I think this, this point looks better in hindsight than it probably does today, I think, for some fans. Wolves nil, Chelsea nil. Have a good Christmas, everyone, for all the post-match reaction. Make sure you log on to expressandstar.com.